Hello, welcome to UX CV Powered by Data Mini and brought to you by Pollyanna Branty. Today, I'm going to talk about screen resolutions and its measurements. How does it work? What are the types? And the most common resolutions. So first of all, what is a screen resolution? Screen resolution defines the number of pixels, the is the decimal points available on the screen. It's usually quoted as width and height. Generally speaking, more dots allow designers to fit more content on the screen, such as key elements, apps, and websites. A larger screen doesn't necessarily mean better quality. Quality depends on the resolution and the pixel density. Other important factors are display size, screen size points, render pixels, and many more. A tip is to design for the audience first, the message second. Talking about screen measurements, we have four types. For that, we took dimensions from iPhone 6 Plus as an example, so here are they. Display size, either inches from corner to corner, same as to measure a TV resolution. Screen size points, either points with different map coordinates for CSS by developers. Render pixels, either multiple points used for creating images by designers, such as 1x, 2x, 3x. Or 4x. Physical pixels are the number of actual pixels in the display. How does it apply to desktop? Desktop screens have many different resolutions, but choosing one can be related. You need to understand who's the target and also know what is the most used screen resolution at the moment. For that, I did a quick research at StatCounter and found that in the period of December 2014 to December 2015, the most common resolution is 1366 to 768. It means that when you're creating your design, it can be more than 1366 to 768, but it can't be less than this. For mobile devices, it's kind of different because the designer needs to know not just the target and the most used pixel dimensions, but also what device is going to be used. If it's Android, Apple, and which version is going to be developed. For that, you need to define your target. So how to define the target? First of all, you need to define the personas, if it's female, male, or both. What are the age of them? If it's 18 to 25, 30 plus, or if the app is for children, their interests, and the device they have. You can also do a market research using Google Analytics, Trends, AdWords, Quantcast, the one is most common for you, and also create service and focus groups. So here are the most common resolutions for iPhone, iPhone 5S, iPhone 6, and iPhone 6 Plus. Here are the most common resolutions for iPad, iPad mini, iPad mini retina, iPad Pro, and iPads Retina. And here are the most common resolutions for Android, Nexus 9, Galaxy Note 4, Galaxy S5, Galaxy S6, and Galaxy Tab 10. And finally, here is a diagram that shows you which devices share the same pixel dimensions. It's helpful to know which dimensions are the most common across devices when designing dashboards and applications. Here are some references if you guys want to learn more about screen resolutions and see a complete list with all devices available in the market. Thank you for your time and I hope you all have learned something new today in this episode of UX TV powered by Data Meaning and brought to you by Pollyanna Bretti. Thank you!